Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the renowned investor and financial expert, Ray Dalio. With over four decades of experience in the world of finance, Mr. Dalio is here to share his invaluable insights on portfolio diversification and investment principles. There's a saying in the markets, he who lives by the crystal ball is, he who lives by crystal ball is destined to eat ground glass. <laughs> okay, what I mean is, um, what you don't know is very important relative to what you do know. And for that reason, understanding how to properly balance and diversify a portfolio. Um, and that diversification should be of countries, currencies, and asset classes is something that's important. For most investors to make tactical decisions is not going to be the best thing they can do. They're gonna, they'll, they'll do that badly. And, um, and, and when you come to conferences like this, you will get different points of view. Right. But unless you actually have a system and you mechanize, and, and we put hundreds of millions of dollars, lots of money, maybe a billion dollars, I don't know, into doing a technology and so what to try to get an edge. Um, so number one is respect what you don't know and know how to diversify well. Because diversifying allows you to reduce your risk by up to 80% without reducing your income, without you reducing expected return, if you know how to do that well. Okay, um, then I think then what you have to do is you have to look at the relative appeal of asset classes. So when I go through that calculation, the relative um, um, cash now has a relatively attractive um, appeal um, you know, sort of people, um, when I said cash is trash, and that got a lot of attention, but that's when cash was nil. Okay, now when you look at the expected returns for this moment, cash is a relatively attractive asset class at this moment. It's not just attractive because um, it has a relatively decent, decent, not great, but decent expect. In other words, it has something like a one and a half percent real return. Okay, not bad. And not bad in comparison to the other things. And it doesn't have price risk. So it looks relatively attractive, but let me follow, let me complete the answer before you, because <laughs> I see you're pulling at the bit. Um, um, and, but then also I think in this environment and, and given the whole picture of all the things with, at, at work, there are three things that I look at as to where, where to invest. During the video, it's crucial to pause and reflect on Ray Dalio's advice, respect what you don't know and know how to diversify. These words remind us of the importance of humility and strategic thinking in the world of investments. Keep this wisdom in mind as you navigate your financial journey. Um, I want uh, sound finances. So I look at income statements and balance sheets of countries. I want to invest in countries that where they earn more than they spend and they have good more assets than liabilities. Okay, second, I don't want to have where there's a lot of internal conflict because the internal conflict is very dangerous. Last question, Ray, what comes next for Ray Dalio? There was, there was speculation about going back to, to Bridgewater. Would you- That is you such said a- gonna have it but, wrong. But I, I, by the way, <laughs> don't trust the media. <laughs> I mean, I I'll just, attest to that. I've been okay. here for a long time. Okay, uh, uh, I'm with that. But are, are you interested no, 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 in creating no, your own fund other than that? No, no, no. I'm not creating my own fund. Okay, I am. Um, I have um, uh, a, a family office that manages family and foundation funds. Okay, and I'm doing that. And um, but what is what comes next? I'm at a phase in my life where uh, it's very natural. I'm 74 years old. And the, no, the most important thing for me is to pass along everything, okay? To pass along some of the knowledge and principles that I've learned over a period of time, which is why I'm doing this, why I'm writing the books and so on. And to pass along the wealth and to pass along other things and pass along Bridgewater. What a joy it's been to start it out of the stew bedroom apartment and 47 years later to build this extended family and these wonderful people who are very, very capable, you know them, uh, and, and, and to have them, this next generation, flourish and be a bit of a mentor to them, what a joy that is. And so my objective is to do that 
Um, my son gave me a book uh, by Joseph Campbell uh, called Hero of a Thousand Faces. He says there's a life part. And there's a part in your life journey when you're, there are three phases in life. There's the first phase where you're learning and you're dependent on others. Your kids, they go to school and so on. Second phase of one's life is you're working and others depend on you and you're trying to be successful. And then there's a transition to your third phase. And in that third transition, uh, he described it and I instinctually feel it. Um, there's this, what he called the passing of the boon. Now, what is the boon? I didn't know what the boon was. The boon is um, what you've acquired that are the gifts that you've acquired over that period of time. So I'm now in that phase and I, um, I'm gonna put out one more book, Economic and Investment Principles, and then I'm gonna be done with that phase. And, I, and so that's where I am. I'm savoring life with you know, my family, the things I like to do, and that's where I am. In conclusion, Ray Dalio's wisdom transcends the world of finance. As he enters a new phase of life, his commitment to passing on knowledge and wealth serves as an inspiration to all. We thank him for his time and the invaluable lessons shared today.